guys, welcome to the vlog. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. It's Saturday morning and we're on the way to a boot town. Yeah. Already done the deed, already done the business. Been and had a Mac is hard oh, We need one of them things. We do, we need a little sand or something. It's rained overnight, but we definitely sure the boot town's not. This is a dangerous little pull out. Nice. I just thought he's up. Yeah, I hope the boots has on. Got the GoPro on me as well, bubs. So we're uh, GoPro in. Going pro. We, we went pro, but now we're going back to pro. Yep. Is there something on my face or is it the camera? Yeah. Oh, there. Yeah. I thought I could see something in there. Yeah. Okay, let's go, boot. Booty. Back. Back, booty. Jamie gonna be late for work. Typically, oh, no. we, we kind of we didn't oversleep. We said like 14 minutes over. Oh wait, so it's not bad. Yeah, we got loads of time. It's massive. We said we don't need that long today because it's really small. This one, and then it's fucking huge. Yeah, quick. I've got to. Be, it's it's basically about quarter to seven. I've got to be at work for half eight, so I've got to leave home at eight o'clock. So we've maybe got an hour, just under an hour. Uh, I think we're gonna make it. Uh, <laughs> what? Well, that's cute. Oh, it's terrible to find as well. Thank you. How much are the cushions? The cushions, they're a pound each or two for 150. I'll have them. I'll have both of them. We've got the beige ones and we've got some more uh, pale blue ones as well. If you want to do yeah. the pale blue, they're paying for the two. Oh, I'll have them they're as well. Like yes, please. Have you got any big bags? What's that blue? Do you mind if we just come back for them a little bit? Is that okay? <laughs> Get the cheese, yeah, get the cheese and cheese and ooh, get the cheese, ooh, get the and the grapes, the grapes, get the grapes. Ooh, get the grapes, ooh, get the grapes, the grapes. Oh, Come on, Sad, no. oh, where are we? We're from Chile. No. Are they all Chile? These are Chile in India. <gasps> they look oh look, these are different though. They're both chili crimsons, but they look oh, totally please. different. They're the same them. Get them bad boys, bubs. That look nice. Well, they do they look big and juicy. Juicy, mm, I like a juicy grip. Guys, it's been a crazy day. So you know our hen stag is tomorrow. Sorry, Teddy, turning off. Happened back in 1952. Well, we've just been like wrapping up loose ends today, so I've been at work all day. Ding. Long day, really hot day, killed me. Then I came back and I was like, you know what, I've got like, loads of eddies that I wanted to catch up on before we do the stag and that. Because obviously after the stag, we're going to have loads of footage from that to catch up on. And uh, the laptop's just so bloody slow. It can only do like one thing at a time. So I'm trying to upload one, also trying to start another edit. And it ain't worked. I've done one edit so far and it's half eight. Jack's kicking off about something per usual. Yes, and then now we've just managed. Stacey spent all day setting up her hen in the garden and baking cakes. Ooh. That looks amazing, bubs. Well, that tastes amazing as well. I tasted one earlier. <laughs> yes, and we didn't have time to cook anything. So we just popped to Tesco and just got some like easy food like a uh, party ring and a couple of sandwiches party rings oh onion rings sorry <laughs> i'm tired what, what? Ooh, this amazing looking spicy mexican style wrap as well wait who's it for it's just wicked kitchen it's prepared exclusively for tech there's dudes on the back oh yeah derek and chad chefs and brothers who <laughs> craft humble vegetables into the stuff of food legend apparently i'm eating i'm just i can't even do this so, 
We've had lots of cake, lots of crap food. I'm feeling a bit worse for wear because of it as well. <laughs> I need. Uh, um, it's, it, the evening's getting on as well. It's like ten o'clock. I'm still going to edit this vlog and set it live to go up on Monday. So this is Saturday evening at the minute. So I always edit two days behind. I've got all my hair just like tied up, really tight as well without a cap. I feel so weird not wearing a cap. I'm going to wear a cap to Pangle because I'm going to feel naked otherwise. Naked. <laughs> Necky head. Um, I thought just when this vlog, I know it's a short one, but it's just because we've had so much going on today. I was just going to show you what I bought from the boot sale this morning. I think we had some things to resell, and we definitely bought some things for the wedding. We bought some pillows and quilts, but I don't know. It's hard to know how much we got on the GoPro. Don't I didn't know. buy anything to resell. Didn't buy anything. Well, some of my things might be. So, I'll quickly share. Okay, so let's start. So, you know, I bought a ZX Spectrum the other week. Um, I still haven't played it, but I found these at 50p each. Two games. Um, pi R squared, I guess this is pi called. Pi R squared. Oh, Pi R. <laughs> pi R. Pi R. Hello, my name's Pi R. <laughs> and, <laughs> and Mission Omega. Uh, I've never heard of either of these, but at 50p each, I thought, you know what? That'll go in my collection, and if I decide to sell it, then they're a nice addition. If not, they're 50p each. Like, it's, I might as well get them. Um, GTA San Andreas. This was a quid. And it's it's a, it's a GTA game, like, they kind of go for a bit. They always seem to hold their value. They, go, I mean, that goes, that that get, like, seven quid or something. Yeah! Yeah, they, they're, like... Really? Yeah, they're better than nothing sort Definitely. of thing. Yeah, I think wow. so, yeah. Interesting. And, and that's, like, one of the old ones. And I think they kind of... They're going to hold their value as well, so they're going to go back up eventually. So I figured when I see them, I'm getting them. So I got that. I bought Vice City the other week, I think. So the next one I've got to get is, um... Obviously GTA 1 and 2, which I probably won't ever find, a boot sale. Then there was Vice City, and then San Andreas. I think, am I missing one? Then what was it? And then is it GTA 4 after San Andreas? It's got to be another one. I don't know. And then GTA 5 as well. Maybe it did just go San Andreas, GTA 4, GTA 5. Anyway, yes, yeah, so I'm picking them up for my collection when I see them. So that was a pound. And also, what's really cool is that the, they always came with a... Um, it's got, got the instructions, which is pretty cool by itself. And it's got the poster. I'm not unraveling this. But it's a poster, and the back of it is a map of the game, like. So that's cool, because they don't often have those. So it's nice to have, like, a full... Let's put this in without ripping it. It's nice to have a full little set. Next up's a bit of a random one. But basically, the other day, I was on Reddit or Facebook or something, and I saw a clip from... Like, a really funny clip from a film. And it was, the film was called Clerks... Clerks? Clerks 2. And uh, I'd never heard of it. And so I googled it and obviously I realised there's two films. And I couldn't find it on... I don't actually, I don't think I looked on Netflix, but I figured it wouldn't be on there because it's kind of... didn't seem like a big film. And then we just the boots on. I found the first one, like a, a, this box set edition, uh, 10th anniversary edition. Oh yeah, this was a quid as well, man. And I was like... Yeah, I, th I was thinking that actually, because it seems like it's like... Oh my god, come on. I think this is a comedy. Let me know in the comments if you watch this and if it's actually any good. We might watch it tomorrow. Three discs, this is. It's got all sorts of commentary, it's all sorts of bonus features. Very nice thing. One pound, I thought, you know what, that's worth it. Well, I didn't even haggle. I was just like, yeah, okay, I like that. Yeah. How much does it fetch? Yeah, so three quid. Yeah. Two quid. There you go, bodes well. <laughs> and last but not least was this and I felt a little bit bad about this purchase a little bit I don't know because well, this was this guy's childhood like he had it and we were chatting a while man he seemed like a really nice guy and his missus like we were just talking away and so basically he had this and his, his mum had found it in the loft I think and he sold all of it, a lot of his other stuff and he was going to split this up and he wanted a pound each for these and he sold me and then he told me he'd do the lot for 20 quid and I said I'd only have it if it was a tenner not thinking he was going to have it and he was just like yeah go on <laughs> I was like, alright. So it's this. Look, it's a card collection, yeah. And he's even got Yu-Gi-Oh um, packs stuck on the outside, like empty ones that that he liked when he was a kid. Like, and like, no, I'm saying Aww. this is a kid's, this is a kid's prized possession, man. So if we flick inside, look, we got Yu-Gi-Oh at first, and it's a nice little set. This is um, Exodia. Yeah, Exodia, that was his name. You basically, you had to collect each bit, each body part, arms, legs. Is it the full set here? Is the other arm? I think it's missing an arm, maybe. I don't know. But basically, like you, you collect the bits, and if you get them all in a game, you automatically win the game. Or something like that. So, that's fairly rare. 
Remember, I paid ten pound for this whole thing. You wanted the pound of card at first. See, I don't, I don't know. You go and never really played. I don't know if all of these might be fairly rare or something. Let me know in the comments if you know Yu-Gi-Oh and if you know if they're rare. Okay, and these are the bits I do know. This is Pokemon. These four, as you can see there, it says uh, Pokemon the first movie. You got these when you went to the to the first. What are you done? You broken now? Yeah. Oh gosh. <laughs> when you went to the cinema to watch this movie. The first movie, you would get one of these cards. Uh, one of the really rare ones, which I don't even think is worth that much money anymore, is there was a, a Mew card and it was all in like yeah. Egyptian hieroglyphs and it was really cool. That was the one to have when I was a kid. But these ones are really cool. These, like, I haven't searched any of these, but some of these have got to be worth over a tenner themselves. Like, And then after those, we've got like just some other the shinies, Meowth, Jigglypuff. The Look, there's the a Mew. Shinies. Yeah, and pretty much all of these are shinies. They're all rare. Like, It's not just normal cards, they're all rare. Every single one. Oh my god. Yeah, that's why I got it. Tenor. Yeah. Look, they're all pretty much all these shinies, apart from a couple of those. Mews there. Um more shinies again. Moltres. Garidas, Dark Garidas. Didn't even know that was there. Dark Dragonite. Some people are probably very bored right now, but I'm sure some people are very interested. We've got Mewtwo. Dark Hypno. Oh, look what are these. Magma. Nido King and Nido Queen. Both shiny. So, yeah, I mean... The way you were looking at that, I thought, oh, God, here we go, he's adding to his collection. What? You didn't think it was money? I mean, nah, because no one sells Pokemon cards, so they haven't researched. He kind of had, he said that he was looking at selling them individually, but he couldn't be bothered. I haven't looked at them all individually, but I know that... Are you honestly going to sell them? I don't know. I can't see you selling them. I can't because it'd be effort. <laughs> <laughs> it'd be effort to send each one and... No, it wouldn't. It'd be the easiest I'm, thing. I'll, I bet I can make the money back on the Yu-Gi-Oh. Shall I have a quick search if the if Exodius yeah. is worth it? Alright, we got some listings. I mean, if we see a mint edition, uh, first edition European one, we pick that up because that'll sell for 350 quid. <laughs> you sure you haven't got that? Oh, I don't think so. See, the set... Can you imagine? That one went £8 all in, that set. That one went £16.20 all in. Why? Have that was first edition set? again. I'm missing one. Uh, See, five pieces there. That one sold for £61.70. Why did that sell for so much? I don't know. I don't really know what I've got. That one sold for 20 I'm missing an arm there. Why am I... Maybe if I'll take them out. They might, the arm might be like behind it or something, doesn't it? But yeah, I'll search for some more of these. But look, look that's already money. Money. So yeah, I just thought you guys might want to know, might want to see that. I'm going to quickly edit this vlog now, maybe have a shower, and then have a bit of kit before the big day tomorrow. <laughs> the big, the big day. day. Not yet. Uh, thanks so much for watching this vlog, hey, you guys. You right, can... I wanna, I wanna, I've, I've stuck with the nails. These are the nails I've got on. They're by uh, Elegant Touch, and they're the jacket Have you told ones. them about these nails? Remember I tried them, didn't I? And then we put them in the vlog. And, uh, I remember. Yeah. I'm glad. And I said to stick with them. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I remember now. Yeah, because you're having a bit of trouble. So, yeah. This is the colour I've gone for. Oh, so it's solid. Pink for a change. <laughs> Alright, I'm ending it. I'm ending it. What was I going to say? What was I going to oh. say? I was. I felt like I was going to say something, but I'm not. Okay, guys, come back tomorrow for uh, the stag and the hen in one. It's going to be a long vlog. It's going to be really good. Loads of stuff. Taking the GoPro. It's going to be great. It's going to be great.